Condor Blue has sent me a cage for the latest Lumix S5 Mark II, the brand new Lumix camera with phase detect auto focus. If you haven't heard about it, definitely check out my top five features video. I'm super excited to put this together and make a cool rig out of the S5 Mark II. Cool, so here it is, the Condor Blue package. Let's have a look at what's inside. So here is the cage with the top handle. And also we have a really cool thing, a little cable that plugs into your camera and plugs into the top handle. And we have a red record button on top. So if you're using the top handle to get low angle shots, you can literally just press this button, start recording straight away. So that's a really cool feature that I'm looking forward to. Looking around the cage, really like that there's two tools included. So you have an Allen key uh, on the back another little one. They both magnetically just snap into the position. So if you forget your Allen keys on a shoot, Condor Blue will save the day. Okay, so let's unscrew this side over here first. So all the previous cages I had were usually pretty quick, but sometimes you do see a little bit of flex in the cage just because there is one mounting point. The cool thing about uh, the Condor Blue cage, because there's a lot of little screws that kind of hold this very tight, around the camera that makes this cage very robust and very solid so you can really trust it that it's going to protect your camera and hold the accessories that you need. So the new Lumix S5 Mark II has these new design strap mounts on the side. Um, so basically this cage will hold on to those strap mounts for better grip and just basically a more secured fit. Put the right side into the camera's strap holder that locks in and now bring this down, that clips in. Now we flip the camera upside down, take this little screw out of the bottom plates, get this in here. So that screws into the camera, I'm not gonna do it tight because we have a few screws left. Now this is not a cage that you wanna be taking on and off very often, but uh, if you're a video shooter, you must definitely want to keep this on because video filmmaking and all that requires quite a few accessories, um, especially for me. I usually have a monitor, a transmitter. You can even have a wireless follow focus if you're using things like anamorphic lenses. You can really cut this thing out, especially because it has so many mounting points around it. Once all the little screws are tight, we take the bigger Allen key and just make sure the big screw that attaches to the camera is as tight as possible and we are good to go. Now let's put the top handle onto the S5 Mark II. On top of the cage, this is actually a NATO rail. So that allows us to just slide in the top handle, put it roughly in the middle. As you can see, the cage also has this front metal bracket that kind of helps to position and hold the camera in place. Um, and because it has those two locking points uh, that goes into the camera strap, that really makes this cage feel solid. Take this little remote cable. So we connect it to the port on the left. And the right side of the camera has this little remote plug to which we're gonna connect the cable to. Here we go, just records straight away. That's very, very cool. And very handy for low angle shots. A thing I've never seen on a cage is that leveling bubble. If you're leveling this camera on a tripod, you can get it perfectly straight. Overall cages are great for mounting accessories and putting things on it. So this cage has quite a few mounting spots. You have a bunch of mounting spots on the right side, few on top, a cold shoe over here, as well as cold shoe up there and a bunch of mounting spots on top. And actually all these come with these little quarter 20 adapters, which could be quite handy. Now that we have the cage on, let's rig this out into an anamorphic rig. So we've got the Atomos Ninja 5 and the lens that we're gonna be using is actually the anamorphic Viltrox lens, 50 millimeter T2, 1.33X squeeze. This is a full frame cinema prime lens with a PL mount. So we're using the Sigma adapter, the PL to the Lumix L mounts, lock it in. So now we have a Cine Prime that works well with the Lumix S5 Mark II. We're using a matte box on top so we can slide in ND filters um, if we're filming during the daytime. And here we go. That's a really cool looking setup. It's not really correctly balanced. As you can see, the handle is too far back. So what we're gonna do is unscrew the handle. We're gonna take it off and flip it the other way around. Now that's gonna give us a little bit more space to grab it in the front 
and now it's actually perfectly balanced. So the next thing we're gonna pop on is the Atomos Ninja 5, which is my monitor of choice. And the cool thing about flipping the handle this way is that it actually has a cold shoe mount in the front, which is perfect for sliding in this mount with the monitor, locking it in. So the monitor literally cannot go anywhere. If you slide the monitor in here, it could possibly, if you don't lock it tight enough, it could kind of fall out. But because we are sliding it down, of course, gravity is gonna keep it in place. So we're just gonna connect this up, rig the cable on the other side. So this is it, the Viltrox Anamorphic Condor Blue camera setup. And probably one upgrade I would make is something to support the Viltrox lens as it is quite heavy on this mount. So probably a little bit of a support system down the bottom. Um, but other than that, the handle actually balances surprisingly well with this massive lens. So that's great to see. The monitor can be easily adjusted. So if you're filming up higher, it can be like this. If you're doing low angle shots, you can point it down and it feels like a very compact but uh, powerful setup. I can't wait to use it on a shoot. If you guys got any questions about the cage, lenses, any of the accessories I've got, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.